Boba Regimi. That's right, I said it. It's the gurgling language of your stomach and it's trying to tell you something. Boba Regimi is the word for the gurgling noises that your stomach makes. Think of it as kind of like the whistle while you work song that your digestive system is making. And if your digestive system could name this song, it probably would be Ode to Peristalsis. Peristalsis is the muscular contractions in your digestive system that keep food moving along. The muscle contractions and peristalsis are a good reminder that at the end of the day, we're all pretty much a long tube from let's say snout to tail with a brain and some shoes attached. And when we put food into this long tube, we add a little bit of gastric juices and what starts to form is something called chyme. So you've got this glop of chyme. What else do you have in it? You've got gas, you've got air, and that is actually making those gurgling noises, particularly in an empty stomach or an empty small intestine, because those, when they are empty, kind of act like echo chambers. And that chyme, that glop that's just sitting in there, gets louder and louder. The takeaway that is, say, during an intimate moment or when you're in a meeting and you're about to say something terribly important and you're interrupted by that noise emanating from your stomach. <laughs> that is just your body saying, hey, hey, look at me, look at me, I'm digesting. Now, all of this seems really rudimentary, right? Your stomach breaks things down, but now try to reframe it as your stomach as being this roiling cauldron of all these gastric acids, and you can put nearly anything in it and it will dissolve. I mean, we're talking haggis here, which is basically organ meats that are stuffed into the lining of a sheep's stomach. So then you start to think, well, if my stomach can digest a sheep's stomach, why can't it just go ahead and digest itself? Of course, it does have all of those gastric juices going on, but it also produces a lining of cells or mucus that help protect the stomach from itself. So the only way that your stomach would really try to eat itself is if you were sitting there with your plate of haggis and at the same time you were tucking into it, you happen to be taking your last breath here on earth. Your brain would go ahead and start to shut off the lights in your body, including that secretion of the mucin that helps to protect the stomach. And those gastric acids would be there until the bitter end, breaking down the haggis and then starting to work on your own stomach lining and digesting it. So do you have any burning or burping questions about the human digestive system? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos.